We begin with a continuing coverage on We On of the Prime Minister's uh, visit to Europe. And after his stopover in Berlin, where he met with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, Prime Minister Modi will today visit Denmark's capital, Copenhagen, as part of his three day, three nation tour of Europe. Prime Minister Modi's tour of Germany, Denmark, and France comes in the backdrop of the raging Ukraine conflict that has united much of Europe against Moscow. Prime Minister Modi's visit to Denmark comes as a special invitation from his Danish counterpart Mette Frederiksen. Notably, this will be the Prime Minister Modi's first visit to Denmark, but his third summit-level interaction with Frederiksen. According to reports, the discussions between both leaders will primarily focus on bilaterals. Both sides will also discuss emerging regional and international issues concerning both countries. Prime Minister Modi and Frederiksen will later interact with the business leaders of both countries under the India-Denmark Business Forum. Along with holding key bilaterals with Danish leadership, Prime Minister Modi will also take part in the second edition of the India-Nordic Summit that is being hosted by Denmark this year. The summit, which will take place on the 4th of May, will bring in all the Nordic states on the same stage. The summit will focus on subjects like post-pandemic economic recovery, climate change, innovation, technology, and you know, renewable energy. The Prime Minister is also scheduled to hold bilateral meetings with Nordic leaders on the sidelines of the summit to review the progress in India's relations with them. The summit comes at a time when India continues to strengthen ties with all the Nordic nations of Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Finland and Iceland, which have reported increased trade with India in recent years and spreading Indian diaspora. Prime Minister Modi's three-day, three-nation tour marks his first foreign visit this year. This trip will see him holding 25 meetings with eight world leaders, around 50 global business moguls and hundreds of Indian diaspora members all in a span of just 65 hours. We on is present on Ground Zero to track all the updates on Indian Prime Minister Modi's Europe visit. Our diplomatic correspondent Sidan Sibol earlier spoke to the members of the Indian diaspora in Berlin who gave their insight on Modi's recently concluded German trip. Watch this next report. You can see roaring enthusiasm of the diaspora across uh, the place, across uh, the entire place where the Prime Minister addressed uh, the Indian diaspora, members of the Indian diaspora. Prime Minister talked about several things, whether it's transformation or whether it is when, uh, when it comes to uh, the startup sector and how India is very, uh, doing very well. So uh, largely, uh, these are the visuals, parting visuals from uh, uh, the site of uh, the diaspora event, but also essentially showcasing how people People really are very enthusiastic and jubilant about Prime Minister's visit here uh, at uh, the uh, the theatre where, of course, uh, the Prime Minister addressed uh, the diaspora in Berlin. Uh, were, were you present inside? Now? Yes, I was there. I just came out to meet uh, Mr. Modi. Uh -huh. And how was the address like? It was amazing. We did not even feel that we are in Germany right now. It just felt as if we are in India. It was very motivational speech. Very nice. How do you think about the, the students? Uh, I think I'm really happy that he's come over here, he's talked to all the Indian diaspora over here and especially the Indian students uh, and I hope that we as Indians might probably deliver on what he wants us to do and what he expects Indians not only in India but also in Germany and uh, yeah I really like what he is hoping for the country to become in the future. Your word man? For me I felt so honoured that he addressed us that even though you guys are outside India, still you are a part of the development that India is involved in and that itself is an honor that even being present outside India, we are still being able to be a part of all the development and progress. I'm living in Germany since last 13 years. No leader challenged us with a special contribution to India. Simple thing, contribute or promote Khadi or promote local. These are very obvious things. We are so busy in our routine lives that we forget. Exactly. So, so he, he reminded us. He has reminded given us next steps. What are those next steps you will apply in your life? We need to promote India over here, local, vocal. We need to get stuff from India and promote it over here. The Khadi thing. And we can also contribute by having the pawns in, the in, pawns in India, the Jal thing, which he mentioned. And yes, 
very nicely very motivate very much he has motivated us to be here and to have a small kind of a india in germany uh, one of the things that also stood out for me from today's speech was uh, the way he spoke about startup india uh, and uh, and the digital transformation aspect of it that we have you know around 70000 startups in india and how india has changed in the last 8 years it, it's becoming the global superpower um especially uh, you know there's been a lot of unicorns uh, in in 2021 and 22 and india has really bounced back after the covid wave so i mean that shows the resolve of uh, the indian people and the the hard working and the determination of uh, every single person in india mm-hmm. so clearly the uh, diaspora have now uh, the facts on their tips and that clearly shows at how happy and how mesmerized they were with the address of the indian prime minister here in berlin with video journalist neeraj patel sidhan sibal for vion in uh, berlin germany vion is now available in your country download the app now and get all the news on the move